The Kremlin issued a stark warning to the United States, accusing it of throwing oil on the fire by permitting Ukraine to use long-range American missiles to target Russian territory. The Biden administration's move adds an uncertain new factor 1,000 days into the war. Massive China-Russia natural gas pipeline was completed, Chinese state media reported, suggesting that Russian gas could begin powering Shanghai by the end of the year. US President-elect Donald Trump has indicated he would deploy the military to carry out mass deportations, the backbone of his policy promises. Trump's plan will face legal challenges, but this time he has friendlier arbiters, some analysts argue. Nearly 100 aid trucks were violently looted in Gaza over the weekend, the United Nations has reported, underscoring the challenges of delivering desperately needed food and supplies to the war-torn strip. The convoy was forced to take an alternate route after the Israeli military instructed it to leave a day earlier than planned, according to a UN agency. Prime Minister Modi held a bilateral meeting with United Kingdom Prime Minister Keir Starmer on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Brazil. Joe Biden headed for a photo with fellow G20 leaders in Rio at his final summit as US president, only to find that they had already taken the picture without him. Frustrated US officials blamed logistical issues for this blunder, which meant that Biden missed out on this shot.